Howdy friends, how's it going? Um, <clears throat> me and Steve are here working on the 65 Mustang that we've been having our hands on for many, many years. The reason I'm making, the reason I'm making this video is I wanna ask you smart folks a question. Um, <clears throat> and I don't know why this is this way. It's a half inch bolt. See how it floats in the bushing? It's got a sleeve in there, but it floats in it. It kind of does this on both ends. These are the bolts that came with it, <clears throat> came with this kit for the coilovers. But the, um, the instructions and the directions call for the bolts provided to be utilized with the shock coilover in their provided lower control arm and in the upper um, receptacle housing right there, the, the whatever this is called, the, what is this called? That part, I don't know, I don't know what, call, what I don't know what it's called. But um, my question is, is when we're driving the car and the shock is hitting this, you know, doing what it's supposed to do, you know, moving up and down, is the shock itself going to, move up and down in the on the bolt causing accelerated wear in the bushing because of this and do i need to get a different sleeve go to a machine shop and try to get a, a, a sleeve built to go in here uh, i i kind of think yeah you know to just to give it that much more you know, properness, correctness, instead of having this a bolt like this floating. You know, because as you're going down the road, you know, this of course will be tight, but it still could be that the shock can move on the bolt. You know, if the bolt is, imagine the bolt being stationary and the shock moving around. That's what I, I kind of don't want to do. I sort of don't want to have that be the case. And that's why I'm making this video to, I've done a live video on Facebook this morning, trying to, you know, see if any people knew, but it was just a couple people viewing and really no solutions. Um, so this car's come a long, 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 long way. Let me just do a flyby, walk by, I mean, on here. If anybody's been following this car over the years, you know how far we've come with this. So, you know the camera on the iPhone? is actually superior than the camera on the SLR cam on the SLR cameras. You wouldn't think so, but it is. Which is very odd to me, but technology advances. So, that's my question to y'all folks. The bushing sleeve is it critical to have adjustability or is it critical to eliminate this kind of movement like this or should we go ahead and get a sleeve machined that will tighten this up and it will be a nice firm fit um, that's what I'm inclined to believe it should be that way so we're gonna go consult with a machine shop and then figure it out decide what we want to do so that is that folks um if you guys have any questions or suggestions. or uh suggestions i should say not questions suggestions or like yeah we're we're tracking in the right direction on that or no don't worry about it we can tighten that down and uh the half inch bolt that's right here if that's good enough um we'll just drive drive on with it but uh We've got a due out. We've got a, um, how do we say it? 
Um, we're expecting a call back from the manufacturer of this. Well, who made it? Who made this? Total cost involved Mustang 2 design type front suspension. He's going to supposed to call Steve back, but he hasn't done that yet. So, um, you know, they made this Mustang 2 type of a suspension up front. Is that bare steel? Did you cut that? Did huh? you make that? That's a uh, um, um, duct tape. Duct tape that's residue? Yeah. Okay, that's not <laughs> spare because I know we painted that. Okay, so. Anyways, friends, folks, so I'm going to post this and see what kind of results we get, answers we get. Okay, see ya. Bye.